We saw Joffrey die in season four at the Purple Wedding. What was your reaction? They really built it up. I really wanted to punch him in the face <laughs> just before he died. Delighted. <laughs> just, I mean, it is, I think it's one of the things for anybody that reads the books, you know, from very early on, you're just sitting there going, you know, it will be a very good day when Joffrey finally gets it. Yes! <laughs> he was so utterly horrific, wasn't he? It's like a Caligula. It was so lovely to see him gasping for breath and his eyes desperate, reaching for his mother, looking around for help, no help to be found, turning sour, disgusting. It was brilliant. I mean, I loved it. Everybody must have been just laughing with glee, you know, when they saw him. His eyes bulging and his eyes turned red and the froth coming out of his mouth. Amazed actually, because they did a lot of stuff in post. Um, so they kind of did a, the whole thing with his eyes and like, I think they made like his skin kind of come out a bit more like purpley. Uh, and I was really like, wow, that's a violent death. Like a silent but really violent death. You could, you could see his soul kind of go to hell. That was definitely a oh my god scene. That was one of those ones which I had my, my hands covering my face. I wanted it to be even more bloody and more I wanted it to be really awful, but it wasn't very nice. But uh, I wanted it to be even worse than that. And I think I rerounded and watched it a second time, to be honest with you. I'm that, I'm that horrible and callous. I watched it twice. As a scene, I thought it was spectacular. Uh, the, the director, uh, Steve Brace, was just incredible. And he had the whole scene from start to finish in his head. At any given second, he knew where the camera had to be. He knew what the actor had to do. It was just a real buzz to be on the set for that week. We filmed it over five days in Croatia. It was boiling hot. Um, I, w I was okay because I was in my flowery stuff, but people like uh, Dan, who plays Podrick Payne, he was in like leather upon like armor. Uh, like they were just sweating their tits off. It was crazy. I was a bit sad. I tell you, I'm, I'll miss Jack. Jack is one of the nicest kids you're ever going to meet. So for me, I found it very, very difficult to film that scene because I wasn't going to be working with him again. Jack is actually a very, very sweet boy and very bright, very intelligent young man um, with a lot of natural talent. But then when he finally does go, you, you realise what a great character he was. What a joy it was to watch Jack Gleason perform every every week. So, um, so yeah, a mi mixed bag, mixed feelings. I mean, I think Westeros will be a better place, but, uh, you know, HBO will have, is, has definitely lost their sort of, you know, a great character. It's a major character gone, though. I mean, I don't think it's going to be the same without him. Because you love to hear him. Jack Gleason. He's one of the loveliest, loveliest people you would ever know. I'm sure you've heard this a million times. But he plays literally one of the most hated people on camera. And watching him die was beautiful. Just beautiful. It must be fabulous to be one of the most hated men in the world. I do think his character will probably go down in history as one of the best bad guys ever. And that's a lot of credit to him.